so sad thinking about hands, what they do, how they feel or don't feel, the way that when you feel something, like your own hand, how it doesn't feel like anything. But when you touch something new, it feels bizarre or scary, unnerving, exciting, how when you touch someone, how that makes you feel. They say that the eyes are the windows to the soul, but some say that it's not your eyes, it's your hands that tell you more about a person, like what are their nails like, are they filed or polished or bitten long or short, do they have calluses, cuts, scars, are they worn, dry, wrinkled? I personally feel like life is a series of little cuts and the cuts scab over, heal and you become stronger. Your hands are a symbol of this, but what about my hands? I, I do a lot of writing, I'm a student, so I have to write essays and take notes in class and I, I write a blog and stuff and then and then sometimes I cook and whenever I cook at my boyfriend's house I seem to burn my hands. The writing though, the writing it led me to think about Kenneth Goldsmith. He's a writer and he thinks that writing is a physical action. So he gets his students to rewrite things. See rewriting makes you think about what you're doing actively. When you're doing something so dull as rewriting, you start to notice the cramps in your hands, that your legs are starting to get numb, you realise that you have a body, and when you type in that writing is tactile, that writing is like sculpting with words, and we tend to forget this. According to Goldsmith, writing shouldn't be hard. We should just make better selections about what we write, and so he advocates cutting and pasting. He wrote a whole book, which was just retyping the front page of the financial news of the New York Times for a year. That's not plagiarism, or, you know, it's reworking. It, rewriting things forces you to see things in a way that you wouldn't have before, and to reshape and re-see them, and to realise their purpose. He thinks that we should learn how to write like the painters learn how to paint, by replication, like by going to the art gallery and having a look at a great Picasso, or like Starry Starry Night by Van Gogh, and just redoing it. I'm not sure if I have the patience, but I do feel like writing places memories in your fingers. So I chose a poem and I rewrote it. One time, then four times on camera. Five in total. One again now on my computer. Six. I rewrote A Hand by Jane Hirschfeld. I chose it by googling poetry about hands and then clicking a link called Inspiring Poems. You know, <laughs> as you do. So I wrote A Hand by Jane Hirschfeld. A hand is not four fingers and a thumb, nor is it palm and knuckles, not ligaments or the fat's yellow pillow, not tendons, stars of the wrist bone, meander of veins. A hand is not the thick thatch of its lines with their infinite dramas, nor what it has written, not on the page, not on the ecstatic body, nor is a hand its me meadows of holding or shaping. Not sponge of rising yeast bread, nor rotors pin smoothness, not ink. The maple's green hands do not cup the proliferant rain. What empties itself falls into the place that is open. A hand turned upwards holds only a single transparent question. Unanswerable, humming like bees that rises, swarms and departs. I rewrote it one, four, one time, six times, four plus two. I rewrote it in different pieces of paper on laptop with different pens, the different inks inspiring the way that I wrote, what punctuation I kept, what I didn't, what I lost, what felt right, what felt good, what felt weird. The more I rewrote, the more I thought about the choices of words and how it felt and what it meant. What words stood out for me? I thought more about my hands. I mean, they're cramping now. I've written for too long, but it's mainly in my right hand. My left hand is passive. My left feels like the puppeteer and the right is slave. I mean, my right is definitely a slave to my iPhone. I thought about the question, the question of hands, the slight grip for good luck, the flick for whatever, the hurried wave for hello and the tilt for the princess diaries, the stroke for I love you, the grip for I want you, the curled fist, the quick gesticulating excitement, the nervous sweat, the indignant point, the scared face cover, the mindless hair twirl, the tasting dip of a finger, the tactical sneaking pluck of a nut in class. Hands. Jeez.